What's up fellow YouTubers? This is KingD3001 and today's video is going to be on my Mossberg 410 Cruiser shotgun. We're going to head and verify that this weapon is unloaded. There is no rounds in the tube or in the chamber. Let's go ahead and rack it this time. Okay, we are safe to proceed. Go over some basic stats of this particular shotgun. With the pistol grip originally attached, which was the original configuration, it was at 28 inches long. I opt for the full stock from Mossberg. Right now this particular shotgun is 40 inches long. It's sporting an 18 and a half inch smooth, excuse me, cylinder bore or straight pipe barrel. Magazine capacity is four plus one of three inch and five plus one of two and a half. Without the accessories that I have attached, I got this mag pouch at Walmart. It holds 11 rounds of triple out buck, four rounds of number five bird, side saddle. Stock sale I bought at a local gun store, nine rounds, five triple lock, four PDX. But without these attachments on there, the shotgun weighs in around five and a half pounds. But with everything on it, it has a combined weight with the mag tube loaded fully of six and a half to seven pounds. Between the mag tube, the pouch, and the stock saddle, I have 28 rounds at my disposal. That's what I like about a 410 over a 12 or 20 gauges mag capacity you can hold more ammo on the weapon itself but not affecting the overall handling and weight of the weapon itself the type of ammo that i carry in it at all times when it's at the house it's my home defense shotgun is the pdx uh, three inch shell with four defense discs and 16 shots of bb i'm not too concerned with over penetration due to my roommates and everyone that i know is at the back of the house and the, the surrounding house is brick and it's going to take a lot to go through brick. I opt to go for the full stock, like I said, due to comfort. It feels more natural to me to do this than holding it like this. That's just really retarded to me. Show you a size comparison. Here's my carrier concealed 38 special. It is unloaded. You can see it's a nice full size shotgun. I used to have a Remington 870 12 gauge, and I sold it due to shooting drub a lot buckshot back to back in 30 rounds within a few days period is not a great idea because I do construction and I'm a carpenter for a living and I messed up my rotator cup I'd rather mess up my rotator cup due to my work and not some shotgun I sold it and I don't have regrets for selling it. the reason I like a 410 is like I said you can carry more ammo on the shotgun without affecting the overall weight too much Anyone in the house can use it, even if you have a wife that really does not like recoil at all, she could use this, same with a daughter or a kid. It's one of those weapons, in my opinion, and this is all my opinion, if the shit hits the fan scenario, you can have this in here and use it. Some guy, scumbag, crackhead's breaking in your house, and I don't care what anyone says about it, how diminutive a shotgun is. The pellets coming out of this shotgun with this type of barrel is moving at the same velocity as a 12 gauge. It's just with a lot less pellets. When somebody's breaking your window and they hear this, they're not going to care if it's a 10 gauge, a 12 gauge, whatever. All they know is they've got someone who's armed and, I mean, you see this pointed at you down the hallway, you're not going to care if it's a, a 20 gauge or a 12 gauge. You just know this guy's got a gun, he's going to blow my brains out. I'm going to be doing a series of videos to show people the penetration capabilities of a 410 shotgun despite people saying it's diminutive. Now the reason they say that it was due to dated articles back when there wasn't abundant ammo available. But now we're pushing because of the Taurus Judge and the Smith & Wesson Governor, the 410 is really starting to get the respect it deserves. I believe that about includes everything. Uh, the reason I chose the Mossberg over any is because due to their reliability and the fact that they did one the U.S. military contract. Um, there's a video on YouTube saying the guy has the HS410, which I was going to get that spreader truck. Don't like it. Prefer the cylinder board. That's junk. And I have had no feeding problems the, with this shotgun. The only time it will feed is if you short stroke the pump. But other than that, if you bring it back and then you're good to go. There's no uh, jamming or feeding issues. Trigger pull is very light and crisp. I was getting groups out to 20 feet with the size of a fist with these triple aught two and a half inch shells with four rounds of triple pellets of buckshot. I believe that includes everything. If uh, you have any questions, please leave them at the bottom of the video and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. Support the Second Amendment. Don't give up your rights and vote this year when the elections come up. Thank you for watching. King D signing off.